Hello students, in this video we will work out some integrals using trigonometric substitution. Now, we have some standard trigonometric substitutions like if we have a expression like this a square minus x square or root a square minus x square, we put x is equal to a cos theta or x is equal to a sin theta. If we put x is equal to a sin theta, we get a square minus a square sin square theta which is a square cos square theta. We have some meaningful uh, expression okay. root a square cos square theta is a cos theta. Okay. If we have a uh, expression like this a square plus x square or root a square plus x square, we put x is equal to either a tan theta or uh, a cot theta. Take a uh, uh, meaningful expression. Banega. If we put x is equal to a cos theta, we get a square plus a square tan square theta. 1 plus tan square theta is second square theta. So, expression becomes a square second square theta, square root of which is a second theta. To obvious a e substitution. Take a If we have expression like this x square minus a square or root x square minus a square, we put x is equal to a second theta or x is equal to a cosec theta. If we choose uh, x is equal to a second theta, then we have here a square second square theta minus a square which is a square 10 square theta because second square theta minus 1 is 10 square theta. तो जिस तरह का हमारे पास trigonometric identity है उसके हिसाब से हम यहाँ पे substitution uh, choose करते हैं ठीक है then we have some typical expressions like uh, root a minus x over a plus x or root a plus x over a minus x okay then we put x is equal to a cos 2 theta a cos 2 theta or a cos theta Generally, we uh, choose a cos 2 theta. Okay. What happens? When we put here x is equal to a cos 2 theta, we get 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 1 plus cos 2 theta, which is 10 square theta. Root 10 square theta is 10 theta. Okay. Here, we will have here cot theta. Then we have this expression x minus alpha upon beta minus x or uh, uh, root x minus alpha multiply by beta minus x. This is most typical expression for substitution. Here we put x is equal to alpha cos square uh, theta plus beta sin square theta or alpha sin square theta plus beta cos square theta. Now, let us work out some problems based on these ideas. Let us evaluate this. We have expression root 1 minus x square. So, we put x is equal to sin theta or cos theta. Let us put x is equal to uh, sin theta, then we have theta is equal to sin inverse x. Uh, this is possible, uh, this is defined if uh, theta belongs to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. That means, theta belongs to uh, first and fourth quadrants where cosine function is positive. Okay. So, when we put here x is equal to sin theta, we get root uh, cos square theta and root cos square theta is cos theta because cos theta is positive in first and fourth quadrants. Okay. So, we have here 1 upon cos theta multiplied by 1 plus cos theta and dx is uh, cos theta d theta. Okay. Cos theta gets cancelled out. Okay. And uh, 1 plus cos theta is 2 cos square theta by 2. So, we have here uh, 1 upon uh, 2 second square theta by 2. Okay? It is simple. Integration is 10 theta by 2 divided by uh, 1 upon 2. Okay? 1 upon 2 uh, gets cancelled out. So, we get uh, uh, 10 theta by 2 plus constant c. Now, we have to uh, write the answer in the form of function x. Kaise x ke form mein function? 
we can write like this tan theta by 2 is equal to 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 divided by uh, 2 cos square theta by 2 ok. So, we have here sin theta upon 2 cos square theta by 2 is uh, 1 plus cos theta ok. Now, sin theta is x ok and cos theta uh, is root 1 minus x square. So, we have x upon 1 plus root 1 minus x square plus constant c. Okay, right? How simple is it? Trigonometric substitution. Se. C dot c times vector a. Okay. I strongly believe that the best way of teaching is the board teaching. I have used the same in my videos but have given the new dimension to it. I have used black background which is less stressful to the eyes particularly during long sessions. While teaching, I am writing on the board facing you and not obstructing the view of the writer. This makes the class more interactive and engaging. Also, I have used animations where required which make the subject interesting and easily understandable.